Hey there team, it's Robert here at the end of the week. I want to wish you, I hope you all had an awesome week that you you acted on your dreams and your and your goals. Uh, I'd like to share with you a little fun little theme today on this little video here at the end of the week called Cheesecake Anyone? <laughs> How many of you love cheesecake? Anybody? <laughs> a number of you hopefully raised your hand. I know I do. And uh, the lesson revolves, the other day I was thinking, you know, I, I, I believe it was in one of the podcasts, or it might have been uh, a book I was reading by Richard Brooks called The Four-Year Career, but it talked about, the analogy was, you're, you're a waiter, or you're a waitress. You walk into the restaurant, and you holler, hey everybody, can I have your attention please? In this big restaurant, maybe there's a uh, 100 people in this restaurant, everybody kind of turns to you, kind of clink your champagne glass and you ask first of all you ask the question how many of you love dessert <laughs> and let's say that only for the sake of the topic at hand <laughs> bear with me let's let's say that only half the room raises their hand so how many do you have that love dessert yes 50 people and if you're one of those 50 you're looking around, you're thinking, oh my goodness, man, you are missing out. What is the deal? You don't love dessert? <laughs> you might want to even have your dessert first. And so she knows that, and it's a thank you, then, then enjoy your meal. Then everybody goes about their dinner. And then when she approaches your table, she has really has no idea whether you're the table that all your hands are raised or all your hands weren't raised. So when she asked, you have a nice dinner at the end of your dinner, she asked you, how many of you would like to see the dessert menu? And let's say that nobody at the table says yes. Is If you're that waiter or waitress, are you then um, start crying and <laughs> fall into a, a state of depression? Are you going to have the knowledge and the truth that, oh, these are part of those 50 people who didn't like dessert. So it's not about me or how I delivered the message about this scrumptious, these scrumptious desserts or not. It's just about them. <laughs> how many, for those of you in marketing, especially network marketing, how many of you just approach say one small group of people and they aren't if you're dealing with a health and wellness product they aren't even health conscious much less looking for an answer and then you think the whole world nobody in this planet or in my city or in my especially my backyard you know wants to get healthy wants to look at my products <laughs> nothing could be further from the truth when you realize the truth and the certainty is that maybe half the population number one isn't even health conscious, or maybe even half the population. Uh, another one of the stats I loved is that only 50% of the entire population even has the the mindset even to be an entrepreneur for your home-based venture. So to move on along with the story, so then it gets to the next table. How many of you want to desert menu? Oh, almost the whole table raises their hand and says, oh, I'm at the right table. Awesome. So. How many of you like to know the uh, the favorite desserts of the night? Yes. Well, we had this amazing cheesecake. It is amazing. And we have this crunchy, crispy apple pie. It's homemade ice cream on top. It's amazing. And then we have this wonderful, this bowl, the parfait dish of fresh fruit grown locally. It's amazing. And the point is, if you're one of those at the table, who love the vanilla creamy cheesecake with that whipped cream on top, you raise your hand very quickly and then Sally across from you says, I want fruit. Say what? And then Bill says, well, I would like the homemade apple pie. And then, and then Joan over there says, well, I would like apple pie as well. You're thinking, oh my goodness. Don't you guys even know that the only dessert of fit for anybody is cheesecake? <laughs> and you're having this 
this quandrum, you may even ask him, you don't like cheesecake? <laughs> what side of the plant did you drop off on? And the, the, the point I'm making is that, you know, how it applies to our business is that, bear in mind that we're only looking for a certain percent of the population, number one, who are either health conscious or they're entrepreneurial and they want a change in their life. And if someone doesn't like cheesecake and you do and you love it, that doesn't mean that it's about you didn't deliver this more glowing anecdotal story about cheesecake. They just may love apple pie instead. So remember the saying that we all love. It's called amateurs convince people to get cheesecake. Professionals sort. Number one, do you like dessert? And number two, here are the options. Which one would you like? Oh, cheesecake. Awesome. I have an answer for you. <laughs> Hope this little analogy works for you. And remember, amateurs convince professionals sort. And it's simply about finding the half of the population, number one, who's health conscious or entrepreneurial, and then seeing if we have a, a match for what we cherish and what we're passionate about. And then we engage and move on. Have an amazing rest of your uh, week here. And until Monday, take care. God bless.